Hi guys, in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to link your books to your video and then also how to get your videos so that when your students go to your video they're not taken to YouTube but just a separate screen where they can view your video. I don't like giving my students access to YouTube. I feel like it opens up a can of worms for them. It causes a lot of distraction. They click on the suggested videos on the side and so this is a way that you can just keep that simple video once you click on the link. So the first thing I did was I recorded my video in Photo Booth. I really like Photo Booth because Photo Booth allows you to flip the screen so all my words aren't backwards, my book, any of the words that I show aren't going to be backwards. So once I took it in Photo Booth, I dragged it to my desktop and then I went to YouTube and I pressed Create and Upload Videos. And I'm just going to drag my video into there. And then I'm going to change my title so the good egg with oops, red space with Miss Smith. And then I'm going to make sure to check that it is made for kids. Next and press next again and then this is where so I have my YouTube channel with my tutorials for y'all and I used to just dump everything onto my YouTube um, as far as like class videos and stuff just because no one ever looked but now that there's people looking um, I found a way to kind of I have one YouTube channel but it kind of is too separate because I can put this unlisted but anyone with a video link can watch and because I'm linking it into my slides all my students need is a link to watch so all my videos for my students are actually unlisted. No one can see them but my students. And then um, I'm just going to click Save. And the video is processing. So I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to show you actually with this one because this is also a video I took today. So this is Dragons Eat Noodles on Tuesdays. I'm going to get the shareable link. And I'm going to go to viewpure.com. I love this website. It's the best, and I feel like it's a, a lot of educators don't know about it, and it's a hidden gem. So I'm going to paste my YouTube link and then purify it. And then this is my video now. So I'm going to copy this top link, and I'm going to go into my classroom, and I'm going to find the Dragons Eat Noodles on Tuesdays. Here it is. And I'm going to paste my View Pure link. So now when my students come into my classroom and they choose this book, it's going to take them to the View Pure website where they can watch my video. Okay, this book is called Dragons Eat Noodles on Tuesdays. So I hope that helps someone. I really have loved working on my classroom library and it is something that my students enjoy a lot. I've found that they spend a lot more time online um, and this is just a fun way to learn. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and throw them in the comments and I will get back to you.